Hi, I'm Jennifer and I'm so glad you're here. My husband Alan and I just completed a major home remodel. We had our house completely remodeled on the inside and the exterior as well. But on the inside, we went through before the remodel and cleared out everything we thought we didn't need and didn't want. And we really thought that we had a grip on all of the excess things in our home. After the remodel, when we went to redecorate and when we went to put everything back that we had before the remodel, we realized we had plenty of excess things that we didn't need. And not to mention the light fixtures, window blinds, all of the excess things that we weren't going to be using and artwork as well. So let's get together and get all of these things gathered up and get these to the donation center. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. You never really realize how many things you have until you empty a closet or put things all together in one place. I have so many things here to go through. I've started sorting and narrowing down. I've gone through all of these Easter egg decorations and I pulled out my very favorite Easter eggs of all of these. So I'll have the rest of these to donate. The colors just don't go very well together and they don't match my decor. I'll just keep this small box of the eggs I like. I already had this empty container and it'll be perfect to store this small collection in. I've been working away here in my guest room. I'm getting everything sorted and organized. Along the way, I've taken out so many donations. All of these things are ready to be donated. In the closet, I have gift boxes that we had gifts in from Christmas and some decorations. All of these things need to be organized and put away neatly. I have all my Easter things sorted in this tote, and then I have all of my fall things in this tote. When the tote is completely full, that means I'll need to get rid of something if I purchase something new. I've just started gathering things up and putting things in the chair. So far I have some big bows and curtains and some jewelry, little wooden signs, Easter eggs, Easter baskets, and I'll keep adding to this pile. I'm just going through things one thing at a time. I have shower curtain hooks I'm not going to use. I just ordered some really nice new ones to match my shower curtain. These can get donated. I have some clocks I'm going to be donating as well. These clocks tick really loudly. I've just taken the batteries out and I'm going to take these and get these donated as well. I have about five picture frames I'm going to be donating. Just make sure you take your old pictures out before you donate the frames. I have so many party decorations, I don't need all of these. I can get these donated as well. I was able to clear out three really huge bins from the guest room, and now I'll go back and get busy and clear out some more. I have an assortment of belts and some extra clothing hangers. I'm gonna take these and donate. I don't wear these belts, I've had them a long time, and even though I like them, I just know I'm not gonna wear them. And I have a couple of garment bags here and a shirt that I just don't enjoy wearing. So I'll wrap all these things up and put them in a bag. This is the amount of space I have on this side of my closet alone. On the other side of my closet, I have this much additional space. I can't even believe it. And now that I've come in here, I've seen some other things that I'm ready to declutter as well. When I thought it was all done with my closet, I went back through again and look how many more things I pulled out. I can't even believe how many more hangers I've acquired for donation. Cluttering, don't forget to go through and shred all old unnecessary receipts, utility bills, and other paperwork. It can really help declutter your home. I have new light bulbs I'm going to be donating because we have new light fixtures and we use clear bulbs instead. So I'll donate those. And these appliance books, 
I have new appliances and I don't need all of these books. I can easily work my appliances and I have the numbers written down so that if anything happens to the machine, I can look it up online. I've also registered my appliances with the company so I can recycle these appliance books. We just loaded up all of our old window blinds. We put the old ones in the boxes of the new window blinds we've already installed. This way, all of the window blinds will get keep from getting tangled and all of the sizes are on the boxes. So we don't have to worry about the donation center trying to figure out what the sizes are. And we have all of our old curtains ready to donate. Alan's gonna gather up the rest of our donations and we'll get these loaded in the car as well. I plan to do many more donations coming up in the very near future. I'll be so glad to get all of these things out of my house once and for all. We have all of these donations packed up and ready to go as well. We'll get these to the car and get them loaded. As you can see, our car is completely loaded. I don't think we can get any more donations in here. I'm super excited to get all of these things out of the house. I am so excited to get all of this excess out of my house. I recently did a closet declutter and took away so many things, literally at least about 200 things from my closet. I was really glad to get those out, but since then I've even pulled out more things to declutter from my closet. I must really be down about 78%, but I have everything I need and everything I want still in my closet. It was great to get all of the excess window blinds and light fixtures and curtains and curtain rods, which we aren't gonna be using again, to get all of that out of the house and donated, as well as excess Christmas items too. I'm so happy you were here and I would be so happy if you subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you next time.